This is how to make a supernova and today we're going to build this notice board. So in a lot of video games like World of Warcraft or The Witcher, uh, they use these notice boards so your character can get new missions or new quests. So it's very recognizable for us gamers. Um, this piece of train is very easy to make, it doesn't take a lot of time, um, but it's a great small piece to have for your next Dungeons and Dragons adventure or any other tabletop game. First I needed some poles to make the structure, so from a piece of foam I cut some pole shapes. And then when I was happy with it, I took a toothpick and I engraved the wooden pattern on it. Then I added some toothpicks for extra strength and glued the whole frame together. For the planks I took a very thin piece of foam and with the toothpick and a ball of aluminum foil I made a wood pattern on it. Then I sliced them in 5mm wide pieces. Then I added some PVA glue on top of the frame and glued all the planks in place. I'm using a small piece of wood as a base, so I marked where the frame would touch the base, then I drilled two holes in it, added toothpicks for strength and glued the message board on it. And for the next step I lost my video footage, but what I did, I covered my whole base with glue and then covered it in sand, gave everything a black coat of paint, and then the sand got a dark brown coat of paint. For painting the message board, I'm building up my color with a dry brush. I'm starting with a dark brown for the wood and the roof tiles, and then I'm using a more yellowish brown for the wood, and for the roof tiles I'm using a red brown color. The ground has a dark brown base coat, and for the highlight I'm using a lighter brown color. I'm adding more lighter paint on the areas where people would walk uh, to stand at the board and to read the messages. So uh, I'm assuming that these parts would be drier and would have less vegetation on it. So to make that pop a little more, I'm adding uh, more light paint. And then I'm adding patches of glue for the static grass. Um, I tried to make the patches to look irregular. And because nobody's standing at the back of the message board, there will be more vegetation than in front of the message board. Then I'm loading up my static grass applicator and sprinkle the grass on the project. To get rid of all the excess grass, I'm using some nylon stocking and my vacuum cleaner. This is a very fast method and you can save all the grass for the next time. To give it some variety and some more color, I'm adding some flower tufts. Again, more on the back and the places where people would not walk and uh, less in front of the message board. Coarse turf is really amazing stuff to tie this whole thing together. I'm adding patches of glue on the message boards and then I'm adding the coarse turf. This is also a great method for hiding any mistakes you made. I also added some turf between the grass in front of the board and I'm pushing it between the grass with my finger and a tweezer. I don't want the turf on top because this weed it's supposed to be should be growing between the grass. And when I'm happy with it I add some soapy water and then some watered down PVA glue to glue everything in place. On the internet there are a lot of different posters you can use. I printed a few, cut them out and painted the edges with some black paint. When it was dry, I glued them on the board. If you want you can tone down the posters with a dark wash, but I really like these vibrant colors here. I 
I hope you like my little build and if you did please consider liking and subscribing because I have more cool projects I want to show you. And maybe in the meantime you should check out one of these. See you next time.